Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Sark. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 5, lesson 1, multiply by tens. Page number is 279. Okay, as you go, as you guys know that tens, it's the place value. The first one is ones, then second one is tens. So it has two digits. So basically, we are multiplying two digits number by two digits like this 25 times 22 digits okay and they are saying it tens because of the zeros we are having zeros in this lesson the first way they are using here the property like they break the 20 into 2 times 10 okay and then multiply 25 instead of 20 they write 20 as 2 times 10 then 25 times 2, which is 50, and 50 times 10, 500. Okay. The second way they're using, multiply 0 with 25, which is 0. Then multiply 2 with 25, which is 50. And add this 0 at the end, so it becomes 500. Now, what is the actual way we are using when we multiply the two digits number, I will show you now. See this, guys? 25 times 20. Okay. What we do, guys, complete attention here. See this? First, we take the first number. Here we have zero. Whatever, we number, whatever the number we have here, we follow this process. First, we take 0, multiply it with both the numbers up one by one. First with 5, then with 2. 0 times 5, 0. And 0 times 2, 0. Now, we finish the 0. It's turn for the 2. Guys, keep this thing in mind. We start writing the 2 under the tens. So, before uh, starting multiplying 2 first we write 0 here this is a rule okay to fill the ones place because this we are multiplying tens now the second digit is tens so we write it under the tens so to fill this place we write 0 so keep this thing in mind that always when we start multiplying tens first we write 0 here okay now we'll multiply 2 times 5 is 10 0 here, 1 up, and 2 times 2, 4, plus 1, 5. And now we add both of them. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, and 5 alone, here. So this is the actual way when we multiply a two digit number by a two digit okay here on the next page now here they're using the same way first they multiply zero with 99 zero then three with 99 297 it's kind of a hard way but if you use this one as i told you in the last page first take zero multiply it with both the numbers up zero times nine zero zero times nine zero now before starting multiplying 3, write 0 here first, then 3 times 9, 27, 7 here, 2 up. And 3 times 9, 27 plus 2, 29. And then add both of them, so 2970. Okay, this one now, see this guys? The same thing we are doing first take 0 multiply it with both the numbers up right in this line next line first write 0 and then take 1 and multiply it with both the numbers up 1 times 6 and 1 times 3 and then add both of them similarly we are doing all these remaining questions okay okay uh, next page guys it's independent practice so you can solve it by yourself 
and then match the answers from this video I just wrote the answers guys okay you will use the same way which we used here the complete way like this one two lines first line for zero the second line for three and then add both of them and get the final answer okay then you can match your answers from this video okay next page what is uh, first we need these lines for these three questions hummingbirds feed every 10 minutes they fly about 25 miles per hour and flap their wings 60 to 80 times each second what is the least number of hummingbird will flap its wing in 15 seconds so they flap their wings 60 to 80 times so the least number is 60 and the greatest number is 80 for each second so to get for 15 seconds you multiply 60 by 15 which is 900 and to multiply the greatest time uh, to find out the greatest number of times a hummingbird will flap its wing in 15 seconds 80 is for one second for 15 seconds 80 times 15 okay how many minutes have passed if a hummingbird has eaten 45 times so see guys they are eating after every 10 minutes so 45 times 10 450 minutes okay this one If a hummock flies four hours a day for five days, about how far did it fly? So, uh, they, the, their speed is 25 miles per hour. So, in one hour, they fly 25 hours. In four hours, five, 25 times four, 100. 100 miles. And in five days, 100 times five, 500 miles okay circle the multiplication problem that does not belong with the other three rewrite the problem so that it does belong with the others in all of them we have zeros at the ones but in this one we have one at the ones place so you can read or rewrite it like this 41 times 20 and the last question how can place value help me multiply a two digit number by a multiple of 10 provide a worked out example that explains your reasoning when multiplying by a multiple of 10 the digit in the ones place is always zero now you guys have to give me example here okay in the comment box I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand the lesson, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.